ethanol has several quite different uses. Um, it is the main um, alcohol that's, that's found in um, alcoholic drinks, um, and it can also be used as a fuel. So, for example, um, in Brazil, they grow a lot of uh, sugar, which they turn into ethanol and use as a fuel. It's an example of a biofuel. Um, as you've probably already spotted, the eth means that there are two carbon atoms in each molecule of ethanol. Um, the olbit means that there is an alcohol group, which is an OH group. So the structure of ethanol is very simple. Similar to ethane, but it just has okay, an OH group attached to it. You don't need to know that, but it just might be quite useful. So how do we actually make ethanol? Well, there are two key ways. The first way, which is the way which humans have been doing for thousands and thousands of years, is by the process of fermentation. And fermentation uses a biological catalyst um, in the form of yeast to turn uh, glucose or sugar into ethanol. Um, it's dead simple to do. All you need to do is get yourself some form of a conical flask or something. And in the bottom, you want to put um, some glucose solution. And you also need yeast. Okay, yeast is the the the, um, um, the catalyst for this this process. And uh, as yeast respires, it will produce ethanol. So as uh, the yeast breaks down the glucose solution, it is going to form ethanol, and it will also give off carbon dioxide. So if you test this gas it's given off, we would put that into lime water solution. You would see it bubbling through, and the lime water should go cloudy. I apologise, that was an awful diagram, never mind. Okay, um, if we're going to represent that as a, uh, a word equation, You'd have your sugar or your glucose either way, um, and that is going to be broken down into ethanol and carbon dioxide. One thing to note is the yeast itself is not reacting, it's just acting act as a catalyst. So if you do want to include that in the equation, make sure you just include it above the arrow and you don't include it as one of the reactants. Uh, in terms of simple equations, glucose C6H12O6, you are going to be um, breaking it down to ethanol, which is C2H5OH, plus carbon dioxide. If we're balancing this, we're going to have um, two lots of that one and two lots of that. That should balance. Okay. Um, this method is really good because we can get the sugar from plants. Okay, it's a renewable process. We can always grow more um, sugar cane or grow more grapes, whatever we're getting the sugar from. So we can always produce more ethanol in, the, in this manner. Um, if you were to distill the solution that you've got here, you could um, you could get a quite a concentrated solution of ethanol, which you could then use as a fuel. However, it is very slow. The second method of uh, production of ethanol is much 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 faster, and this is by um, hydration. Of ethene. Okay, so if you remember back, we produce ethene by cracking um, long chain hydrocarbons, um, and therefore uh, ethene is non non renewable, and therefore production of ethanol using this method is going to be a non renewable process. Okay, and all we have to do um, to do this is um, react ethene with steam. Okay. Hydration implies adding water. We do need to get it quite hot, which is why the water is going to be in the form of steam. Um, and we add water across the double bond in ethene and we get ethanol. We do need a catalyst for this process. So um, it won't work unless we um, have some form of catalyst to get it going. And again, a simple equation, we would write it as ethene, C2H4, steam, H2O, and ethanol, C2H5OH, and it should be balanced. So, remember this method here, although it is much, much faster, we can just continuously um, continuously pass steam over ethene and, and, and tap off the ethanol that we produce. However, 
ethene is non-renewable and therefore this process, although it's faster, is not going to, um, we're not going to be able to use it forever. Fermentation, which is we've been doing for thousands and thousands of years, is renewable because we can just grow uh, more plants, um, more grapes, more sugarcane, that kind of thing, um, and use the sugar that's found naturally in those.